with the recent vendor reset, there's a really good chest that has 15 weapon damage in the clan vendor. However, to acquire the chest, you can't just log into your normal level 30 Walter 5 character and go to the clan vendor. So I thought I would let you know how to actually get it. First of all, there are two different ones you can get. One with 15 weapon damage and one with 14.5 weapon damage. The 14.5 weapon damage one is probably obtainable by all of you with less effort, while the 15% one is a bit harder and more specific. So to get the 14.5 chest, you can log into your normal character, then you have to make sure that you are in a clan that's level 16. You can leave your current clan and then just rejoin it later, so don't worry about that part. So just go to the clan menu and search for a new clan, look for one that's open to join instantly and avoid the, yeah, the invite only ones so you can do it fast. If you have trouble to find a level 16 clan, you swap the language and maybe even the region to find one and it shouldn't be that hard. When you have joined the level 16 clan, you want to join a friend that's between level 26 to 29. Level 30 works too as long as you haven't advanced to Voltaire 1, so it needs to be Voltaire 0 basically. Then just head to the clan vendor and yeah, pick the chest up. For the 15% weapon damage uh, chest, you join a level 16 clan too, but your character actually have to be at Voltaire 2. And no, it does not work to join a friend at Voltaire 2, your character has to be at Voltaire 2. So luckily for me, my fourth character was still at level 19 after farming generic mods. So if you have a low level character, now would be the perfect time to level it up. I leveled mine up from 19 to 30 with opening apparel caches actually. Because when you get duplicates, you get the experience. So that way you can level up. It's definitely not intended to do it this way. I assume the experience is there because yeah, you open apparel caches at the end game. You get the experience, which means you fill the bar and you get a field proficiency cache. But this works to level up too. I think it took around 120 to 150 caches. Then after that, I just did the three strongholds to get to Walter 1. Then I did two invaded mission and one more stronghold. And then, yeah, I was at Walter 2. And then I just went to the clan vendor and uh, picked the chest up. Personally, I think this vendor system is awful. You should never have to leave your clan for a lower clan to obtain a specific gear piece. And you shouldn't even have to swap clans, like, the clan vendor should just have the same gear and if you are a higher clan then yeah, maybe you get higher stats, but it shouldn't be the other way around. Wow. But that's just because lower Walter gear have uh, lower armor, which means yeah, they can roll higher attributes, right? Anyway, hopefully they look into this and actually change it up, because this is not the first time this happened. But yeah, anyway, I thought I would let you guys know since it's a really good chest piece to recalibrate to other pieces. And also I had a lot of people asking how to actually get it. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you are interested in more Division 2 videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.